The children of 9-11, some 3,000 of them, are grown up now, and they are chasing their own dreams. A few dozen have sworn an oath, like their parents, that, that they once lost to serve New York as firefighters and as police officers. And a few dozen others have followed the ones they lost into finance. One of those is R.J. Hennessy, an accountant at Deloitte, whose father, Brian, was a stockbroker at Kenner Fitzgerald on the day the towers fell. So welcome. It's great to have you with us. Uh, so, so first of all, give us a sense of how you ended up being an accountant at Deloitte, because it's not exactly what your dad did. He was a stockbroker, but it's it's a kissing cousin. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I would say, like, I had so many different career choices in high school and college. I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, and that's what kind of made it special to me that even through all of the second guessing what I wanted to do, what job I wanted to have, what I wanted to pursue in life, um, that somehow, uh, some way I found my way uh, following in his footsteps and, and taking that legacy on. So you didn't consciously say, I want to be just like my dad. At the same time, uh, my experience at least, I'm not an accountant, but you have to have some numerical aptitude. Did, do you think you <laughs> inherited that from your dad? Um, that I would say yes from my dad also, but my mom too. I would say both of them were always... Um, Smart, I guess would be the right word. And then uh, my mom always pushed me to always uh, work hard in school and, and do all that kind of stuff. So I would say the aptitude, I, I would like to think part of it's from him. You know, I, I mean, I didn't really grow up knowing him very much, but I would like to think that was from him and, and my mom, obviously. Yeah, you well. were very young, right? Just four? Or four so years old, when, yeah. When you lost your dad. Mm -hmm. At the same time, these anniversaries, in part, even the tragic ones, are for remembering the people that we lost. Of course. Uh, and, I mean, you remember some things your dad, but more than that, what do you think of your dad? When you think of your dad, uh, you've been told certainly a lot about him by others, by your mothers and others. Mm -hmm. what, what do you make of your dad? I mean, um... I would, I would like to think that I got a lot of the personality traits that I have now from him. And the outgoing, um, loving, just always trying to see the, the good in things, the, the bright side, that I, I'd like to think that I got that from him. I mean, obviously, I didn't see that firsthand, but I was like you mentioned, the stories that you hear, um, like your family tells, um, that people that grew up knowing him tell. Uh, I would like to think that all those great traits that I'm, I'm told about that I was able to get from him. Uh, tell them about the Kenner Fitzgerald families. Did, did they keep in touch for a while? Um, they were, like his his close friends at work. I would say definitely we we kept in touch with for for a while. But I mean, time goes on, um, and and so people do inevitably drift apart. But at the same time, we have that uh, connection that that um, that shared uh, experience with what happened uh, 20 years ago. So. That um, definitely is something that brings us together. And even at the time, like when it happened, um, we knew some people. But for the past 20 years, I surprisingly met other people that went through the same experience, like one of my best friends from college, actually. Um, I, I didn't know him growing up, but his father worked for Kenneth Fitzgerald as well. Um, our, our fathers didn't work together, but that was something that we learned about each other growing up in, I mean, in college and... Um, even though we didn't grow up together, that was also like a shared bond that we immediately had um, upon like learning that about each other. So you're a young man. Uh, you have mm -hmm. a lot of career and life in front of you. Sort of early to really know, but how do you think that this experience of having a father, you lost in 9-11, growing up without the father to a large degree, how has it shaped your character, uh, perhaps for the better? Yeah, um, yeah, I think about that a lot. Um, and and myself and so many other people that were affected by 9-11, um, like, obviously, like, you look back on that, and it's such a sad time. Um, but it's also, like, especially now this time of year, it's also a time to remember those people you lost and what you gained from that, but also a time to reflect on the past 20 years and how that impacted your life. And with that said, there were, there were so many people that came into my life because of what happened, and obviously as, as sad as it was, there were so many good things that came out of it. There were so many people that came into my life. It brought our family closer together. It brought communities closer together. And mm -hmm. that affected me personally as, and I'm sure so many other people that were affected, is that just regardless of how bad it might seem at the time, there's always going to be good to come out of it. And always seeing yeah. the bright side of things was something that I think I definitely took with me.